Welcome back everybody, I'm Serdom, we're going to play some more Battle Brothers, the Not So Lone Wolf playthrough. I'm excited to jump back into this, we left off with a mission to go hunt down some green skins. Uh, make sure everything looks good so far, we are recording, that's a good first step, so I'm told. I think we're going to need some more food, so even though these things are kind of super expensive, I'm concerned that's not enough. We'll go down into Koenigsegg here and see if they have any more. I know, I just mispronounced that. Um... And I do want to buy some beers, I think. It didn't look like we had bought any lately. And apparently I was quite wrong. Man, Big Lime keeps getting drunk. Someone's like, that's because he's short. I like that. It might be true. Uh, so we'll head down here to Koenigsegg. I knew I said it wrong. Oh, apparently we won't. We found them already. Oh, there's a champion with them. There's two champions with them. Oh my, oh my. My oh my oh my. How very interesting. You're drunk. You're not drunk. Who do was? Big Lime is drunk. He's not the short one. Oh, I'm getting them all mixed up. That stinks, because your hammer is probably going to be incredibly useful. Your uh, chance to hit is still not bad. Um, it's a shame that you were drunk, though. No one really even got that happy about it. Your broken knee might be a terrible problem here. Um, it's fine. I'll just put you back for right now. Let's reorganize this. Uh, so if you're wondering what, what I'm hesitant for, I want to know if this is something I should equip or not. I'm thinking about... Um, switching it out there. I'm also thinking about giving this guy a shield. Um, if they break it, great. If they don't, great. Um, I want more defense. His dodge will still kick in, um, which we'll, we'll look at once we start the battle. But do I want to give you... We have 50 defense, that's pretty incredible. But do I want to give you a flail? It's also commented that since Pumless got um, Dagger Master, we should give him the Obsidian Dagger. Um, I agree. The Obsidian Dagger is an awesome dagger. It's very situational. Uh, when I've used it before, it almost, it doesn't proc every time it should, um, which is strange to me. I don't know if that was a bug that got fixed or, or what, but it didn't always raise a zombie when we did. And I don't remember offhand how much base damage it does. Um, I don't know if it's random or if it's always the same. I didn't bother looking it up. I would like to get it anyways just because it's a nice thing to do. Uh, the fight against the witches can be really tough. I had a hard time with it before. It's one of the few times I like really saved scum a campaign, um, which I was totally upfront about. I totally like made a quick cutscene of what was going on, of like the multiple, multiple attempts I took for us to do it. But um, I think we'd have a much easier time now, knock on wood, simply because of everything else going on. Ooh, no. Um. Hold on, give me one second. I just realized that my keyboard doesn't have a towel over under it, under it to help try to prevent the clicking noises from going through. Something I, I normally have set up, but I spilled a cup of water on my keyboard over the weekend, like a moron. And that's pulled out the towel, so hopefully you don't hear a bunch of really loud clicking. I feel really terrible about that. But staying hyper-focused on what we're doing. Let's give uh, Pumless here this. Because we need to switch it out. The problem is it's just not easy to switch out to a two-hander like that. But I think we'll be alright. Unless... This thing looks like it hurts like hell. Do we just want that instead? I kind of feel like maybe instead of having an axe, we'll just give Absurdum this two-handed club. When everything's said and done, I think that's what I'd really like to do. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Serum's gonna figure this out. Let's go ahead and pull that off. Let's 
pull that on. Put that in your back pocket. No. I don't know what your problem there was, but okay. And we'll clip you that. I think once we reset his state straights, if we ever do that, um, I'd like him to have this over the axe. It does pretty much the exact same damage. Uses up a lot less fatigue. And we'll just straight up murder something. I mean, it's a godly weapon. It is a godly weapon. So let's go fight these two champions and see how that goes. This is going to be quite the time. Uh, I knew it was a high paying contract, but I was not expecting two champions in one fight. Uh, a few berserkers, some warriors. Hopefully this is a, will let us be able to focus on what we can do here though. This is a tough one to literally wake up in the morning and just do. I'll show you. I will assure you. Alright, so we're going to be utilizing some, some taunting. I can assure you of that right off the bat. There's one. Shaduck. Very nicely done. We are going to be utilizing some that they're whipping. Is that our other one? Garuk Sapat. Let's go ahead and switch over to the whip. I think right off the bat that might be better. That looks like a famed shield. And that He might have a famed shield as well. Which will be a rather disappointing engagement for us, I would think. Since their stuff is usually so heavy, but we'll see. And a shield would have to be really good for me to want to give up that kind of like fatigue. Cost. I guess. I didn't really have strong feelings about who to hit there. Alright, and let it begin. There's one down. I'd like to be able to shoot that guy, but he's in cover. But I do want those overwhelm stacks, so. That's unfortunate there. It's good. Taunt, shield up. That's all very unfortunate. That was less unfortunate, of course. Mm hmm. I wanted to just straight up to demolish armor here, to be perfectly honest. Seventy-four percent chance, but now would be the time to do it. So that's a lot of armor left. I'm not gonna lie. Kind of concerned about how absurd I'm doing down there. Oh, that was funny. I need to focus. Ah, oh, finally made a dent in some of his health, but that's not doing us much good. That's a lot better there. I think it's time to pull out the club down here. Of course, they're not even gauged by half of them. They're just going to keep doing that nonsense. 
Okay. Now we're gonna go for the shield. Of course they are. Disarm. And probably no one you can really even whip, to be perfectly honest, huh? Let's just try to keep your stamina low. You need to back out, that's fine. Can you kill off this guy? No? That's alright. I really need to get you out of there. Wow, I was not paying attention there. Okay. These orcs are really making me a bit nervous here. Alright, we're about to get that guy down, I think. In fact, I think there's little thinking to it. We're just about to do it. Can I kill you before you become a real headache? No, the answer there was no. God, you're fucking annoying. You're also annoying the piss out of me. With my goddamn shield, I'll be so pissed. Forty-nine percent. Why is it so low? Oh, because you're drunk. God damn it. <laughs> oh, that's right. I did that. That's a good hit, sir. Good hit. These were able to really keep one of them at bay. Um, it's not a tremendous thing for sure, but it's definitely something. Yeah, we all knew you were going to go there. Alright, it would be great if you this bug down here keeps happening where it's not showing me stuff that I really want to know. Because this uses a lot of fatigue and like I can't sidestep him, step him twice. That's a good thing to know. Can you get down there and hit him? Yes. Perfect. That was a huge help. Get him! Alright, that's two running. That's another one dead. Alright, there we go. Things are happening this turn. Don't kill people. It's... Can't move twice in a swing. Damn. It's fine. I don't think... I think it's more important to get up there than it is to use energy fighting. Oh, what the? Why did I take damage from that? I didn't fall or anything. Shenanigans, I say. Shenanigans. Ah, I missed a 75% chance. Of course. Why don't you just recover? Ah. Well, at least none of them got their their NG back. That's such a good ability. Get him. That one wants to run now. Fantastic. Disarm you again. Could Eagle, Falcon, Phoenix, whatever you want to call him. I'm not going to. It would be reckless. It would be a reckless waste of 15 fatigue. Though I do like, I do like it. Okay, I was like, where's your friend? He's right there. Alright, tell me about that. Tell me about what just happened there. 46% chance to hit him. 
that's still a pretty good chance to hit him if you ask me. Too good, some would say. Any easy targets to go for, kind of. I really don't want to fight you. Let's switch out. I don't like you not having a shield anyways. We'll attack the guy that's more dangerous. It's a good rule of thumb, thumb I feel. Decent. Decent things happen there. Crush that hand. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. No point in taunting you, you're running. No point in taunting you, you can't hit anybody else. You don't have a weapon. Ah, so close. Interesting. Brilliant. Let's just wait. Good dodge. By absurdum, as expected, always. Start working your armor. I think. Or your shield, whatever. All right, none of them gain back there. They're fleeing though, which is all that really matters. Ah, you are scared, as you should be. You have put yourself in a bad position. And we are out of energy. God damn. Good headshot. Um. Eh, just take a take a moment there. All right, we're starting to chunk the first one down. It's good by all means. Monk, you are of course not in a great spot. There goes my shield. It's only a matter of time. That time is now. Let's put you in there for free. Put you down there. Don't have a shield, which of course is not great. Let you get your energy back. God, he's got so much freaking health. So wait, you can disarm. You're never gonna hit that shield. Never ever. Ah, you did regain. Crap. Might as well do something, I guess, monk. All right, things are looking all right. Don't let this crappy fatigue fool you. Oh god, he was gonna run too. How perfect was that gonna be? Quite. The answer is quite perfect. There's one last dude. I had a less dude. We had a fight, you know. Just like that. Double hit, dude. Like really. Oh, fuck off. Alright, they're both dazed at least. Which is really great. He wants to run again. Nah, these guys are screwed. Uh, they don't even know how screwed they are. We keep banging on that shield. Alright, boys, let's wrap this up. Can't do much. That's okay. Near a bad spot. That's okay. Get that kill. Good job, monk. Wow, we got out of that unscathed. Mine is like a shield or two. We got out of that unscathed. And Unity gets another level. I don't think that shield life is for him. Speaking of shields, we got... Uh... Heavy kite shield from the look of it. <laughs> Great. And the Orc Warrior Safeguard. This is a tad bit better. Uh, this is incredibly uninteresting. Where are you? I don't even have a kite shield to really compare it, but it should be 15, 20, 16. And I'm sure it's this is a lot more durable. And there's something to be said for that. 
by all means. Because that's a 32 and this is a uh, 72. This one we'll probably end up using on our tank, I think. Um, I mean, that's some serious range defense there. But this one, like I said, the durability is a big, a big deal. Right? Plus, there's a skull on it, which is cool. But 2015, 14, as to 19, 15, 17. Um, yeah, we're going to use extra fatigue if I ever want a shield wall. Which the tank does, by all means. But I think having that durability and a shield that's not going to get smashed in a fight, like this one here today, uh, will be important. Is this, is this a famed item I'm going to write home about? Nah. By no means. By no means. Let's take that off. That's no good for you. Well, uh... Try to get your defense fatigue and stuff up a bit more. Why not? Let's go ahead and give you that one. Let's go ahead and give you this one. And another shield gone. You have no business equipping that one, though. This, uh, this worked out pretty well for you. Oh, no. This isn't ideal by any means, but it'll work for now. Let's go get paid five grand. Hell yeah. They no longer have mar marauding greenskins. That's great. We fought them outside this town, but whatever. I'm half inclined just to sell this because it's really terrible. In fact, I, it's done. It happened. Already happened. Food price is still terrible. Yes. 42 tools. Yeah. Let's not do that. Let's take the fancy armor that's really broken. And just repair it. I think it's gonna really just be yours, apparently. I have to be careful every time. Hold Alt and right click. Do not sell that, please. It's gotta be more than just you. Must be somebody else in the back line. No, not really. Is it our weapons and stuff? 35. So, okay. This helmet's pretty beat up. Yeah, whatever. Your armor is a little beat up. I'm not gonna get all crazy over it. What's this job, though? Not to keep getting distracted. Uh, giant snakes? No, 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 no. Mm -mm. I don't like those missions because you have to bank on RNG actually spawning those things, and I've never had good history with that. Um, I'm not super interested in doing a lot of these jobs. Rest of no return. Southeast of here. Triple land called the Deep Covert. Uh, maybe. Just because we could burn it down. It's not really why we're here. Um, nah. I'm not really interested in doing that. I'm trying to stay focused. <laughs> trying. Day 500 here. Coming up. What is this you want to do now? Malos. Paper in hand. A jousting tournament. Fine. That is on. Exciting! Whoa! Okay, we won. Great. Everyone's happy. And stay 500! That was a big deal to me. I'm excited about that. Do you have food that I can actually buy? Uh, not really. Excellent. You've disappointed me once again, Koenig Tree. Alright, well, before I let any other distractions get into my head, why don't we just head out west and be done with it?
That's a decent kite shield, you know? Like, that's a that's a really just nice shield overall. And 64 defense, like that would be better for the tank to have. Uses less fatigue, has almost as much durability. It's only two points difference in melee defense. The range defense is worlds better. We should make it. Like, I really like these ones a lot. The durability just doesn't hold up. It's not really how I want to be doing this. Uh, truth be told, but it's fine. You don't always get what you want from life. It is a nice shield. It's not something I'd really hate putting on everybody that uses a shield, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, this is nice, but... The... It, it's really not even the fatigue cost, but the extra 5 fatigue for one to use shield wall is not nice. Um, shield wall is, you know, obviously a big deal. It's a big deal that I want to use it. Increasing that to 25 is just not really great. That's a lot. That's a lot. Especially if I'm using it, I'm most likely going to be using it in an instance where I'm going to want to use it over and over again. And that's that's where it's a real turn off to me. It's a shame, because it's, it's really not that bad of a shield. It does offer something. Alright, let's head out west. I was kind of interested in going out there and finding some uh, barbarians too. Who, who needs to repair for so freaking long? It's got to be just one piece of equipment. Alright, well, they're fine with it. Oh, that is not something I want to particularly deal with. There should be a fair amount of goblin blazes out here, really. Oh, you know, we need to hit that goblin city up. Or we could just go straight for the Kraken right now. I'm not positive that's really a great idea. Which one of you was the, uh... Goblin City? Not you. I think it was... You. It was definitely you. A great Goblin City. Okay. So we're not too far from there. I just know one of these places out here. And I don't even know if we discovered it yet, of course. It's supposed to have a famed shield. That the Goblin stole. Hey, shaman. Blech. Let's go and visit this. Because it's my understanding we will have to make a decision what to do. Ooh. I've never been to a Goblin City before. This art's really cool. I love the art in this game. Malice, the War Master, shakes his head. May the old gods have mercy upon us for allowing such a sight. The Goblin City is sequestered between opposing mountains. Saying the goblins built their city around the mountains is like saying a soldier seethed his sword to an enemy's chest. The gilded greenskins, the gibbering greenskins, didn't add to the terrain. They desecrated the whole place. Putting mines where trees used to be, constructing a maze of rusted shanties and lean-tos, raising cultist totems, and digging primitive sacrificial pits. Piling unused timber as though the mutilation of the mountain was not truly finished without blatant waste. But beyond the goblin rubbish does stand a central core of the city, a number of towers unambiguously set apart the riffraff. These are clearly ancient requisitions, stonework. The stonework being unlike anything you've ever seen, and surely beyond the greenskin scope of construction. The goblins walking amongst the walls, upright and boastful, as though invigorated by being allowed to stride at such hallowed grounds. Nestled inside the fortress seems to be some sort of higher nobility. Well-dressed goblins with servants walking about, which means the same thing it does when it comes to humans. There's good loot to be had. A rare sight of little ones running about. Families, if that's what the greenskins truly have. Well, will mean that the fight here has been a vicious one. 
the little maggots will have more to protect than just the scavengeness, savageness and greed. That which must extend itself beyond its own voices is also that has weakness, has been weakened. Ooh, wow, that was a really rough read today for some reason. Well, what's the plan? After observing the city for some time, you do realize you can't simply just assault it head on. There are far too many to take on, and with the number already on their side, it is even likely that the families of the goblins will partake in your slaughter. And you will have only enshrined the city whole with further experience in slaughtering humans. So you wait, and you think, and then the man approaches. He's bound in light armor and leafy hood, used to camouflage metal beneath the multitude of swords clanked from his hip. And a spear looks across his back in a way it's back one way and an axe in the other. The bandolorder of potions chime as he comes to a halt. He can't see his face, much less his eyes. He's dripping with blood of a recent action. Despite their cruelties and cruel appearance, the goblins are in a way a civilized group. They respond to violence that is at base nothing more than senseless savagery. If you wish to draw them out, you must do so do as the orcs do. My plan is to slaughter as many as I could find in the fields, raiding parties, scouts, the like. But it is just as well that their encampments are destroyed in great numbers. Together, the carnage will be a pincer upon their fears, for they fear reckless orcs more than anything. They will seek to preventatively snuff them out. The man nods, as though you've already agreed to something. So choose, traveler. The manner in which you wish to have the city laid flat Slaughter the raiding parties, and scouts, or burn the forward posts. Whatever you do, I'll do the other. Alone, we shall meet here, the summary of our actions. Let's go ahead and do their posts, because I plan on burning some of these places down. You tell the stranger that the Black Phoenix will pursue the destruction of their encampments. He nods. Excellent, traveler. Excellent. The goblins send raiding parties frequently, and when they come home to the ashes, they return here, spread the word of destruction, and be laid out, let out. Very well. We have a plan, and by my own experiences, you will need only to march down five encampments. Take their posts, I'll take their parties. Head off. But you will call out who he is, or perhaps it would be a better idea to join together. He ignores you completely and walks away. Alright. Fair enough, let's just do it. Now, a shaman's not too bad, but I don't really want to fight these guys during the daytime. Fortunately, the sun just came up. Shrats, there's orcs. Uh, nope, goblin raiders. They seem interested in each other, which is great because I'm interested in none. Uh, I should have just popped on this mountain and took a good look at what's around. So I'm walking in a very small point in the circle. War is upon us! Group of refugees. Greenskins are attacking, but they're attacking together. There it is, the next crisis, and look at us now, already preemptively on it. Uh, I'm considering giving up this ambition, because we still need like another 700. No, we need way more than that. Well, this is not really the best time to give up an ambition. Maybe after this fight. This is a chance it could upset people, but I want some new ambitions, especially war-related ones. Uh, okay, I'm not really sure what happened there. Oh, we didn't switch Observant's weapon back out. My bad. man. How does it feel to be stabbed in the neck by your own skier? Landed that 42% chance. Good job, monk. See what you have to say about that. I should have drawn land up there too. Oh well. It's a 
it's seven. Let's not bother with that. Let's not bother with a seven percent chance. Oh, we missed it. Seventy-five percent. That would have been absolutely brutal to him. <laughs> Fuck awesome. Hit these goddamn squirmy fuckers. It's embarrassing. Should be embarrassed. Thirty percent, and we missed. That's okay. off, man. Goddamn annoying. We're coming for you, shaman. We are coming for you. He knows. Hmm. Interesting. Shaman's like, oh god, they're coming for me. What? What does the eyeball do? Does it just let him see? I don't... I'm embarrassed to say I don't know that ability. Probably should have just got that off yet. Oh, there it is. Let's just wait on you. Coast is maybe a little bit more clear. What coast? I don't know. The coast. Suck it. One run, that's fine. Catch you as you go. Bop. Let's go ahead and drill in up, because why the hell not? Ow. Go fuck yourself. Alright, nobody escapes. Except for maybe the shaman at this point. And that guy. Which I didn't realize was down there. That must be, must be just some type of sight thing. I think it's funny he keeps doing it, because he could be a lot more proactive right now, but whatever. Nice. Nice. Useful? No. Not the most helpful thing I've ever done. You can't get anywhere else. You might as well just hit this guy, I suppose. Actually, that's not so true. You can go there. Perfect. What am I talking about? There we go. Stab him. He doesn't like being stabbed, that's for sure. Very good. Ah, yes. You took an unfortunate time to try to run there. That guy's, I'm sure, long gone. And that's more than fine by me. Let's just end this. See if we got anything good from it. St. Isaac gets a level. Yeah, here's that shield. Wow, we found it. Um, it's a heater shield that's got extra defense. Not bad. Or extra dur durability, I should say, because that's what I really meant. Um, extra durability is a little bit lighter in question mark I think so and uses less um, oh man sorry about that uses less fatigue on use which might be really good for our tank actually the day of shields 
What a great name for an episode, if you ask me. You didn't? But you should already know that this episode is going to be called The Day of Shields. Uh, let's go ahead and get your defense up a bit more. And then I'd say your health and fatigue, because why not? Yeah, this is 2015-14. I'd give you less melee defense if I gave you the Lindworm Shield, but... Since he's going to be using Shield Wall more often, most likely, I kind of feel like he needs that minus two. Because you're not going to ever be using, you're most likely just going to be stabbing. Step, step, step. So the durability is obviously higher on the other one, but that's okay. This gives you some more range defense, which wouldn't be the end of the world, truth be told. Um, new base defense is 52, which is pretty awesome, thanks to being short. Melee damage down, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. And we got some, some good loot, some coins and stuff, too. Alright, well, this is where we're going to end the episode. I want to thank everyone for coming by. I hope you guys are having a blast. Thank you to everyone who's being patient. I know the last couple days have been spotty, whether or not episodes come out. This has been kind of a rough week for me. It's kind of a rough month or two, to be perfectly honest, but to not really get into it a whole lot. Um, it's been difficult to uh, find the time to do this enjoyably. Um, and I guess what I mean by that is to come in and do this with the right mindset and right attitude and not just be here and like be really dry, boring, to come with excitement and have it be really fun. I always enjoy playing this. But I don't want to be on here and and be a complete wreck. So to get in the right headspace, sometimes it's not always that easy with everything going on. So I appreciate, long and short, I appreciate everyone being patient. I know some people uh, feel an episode every day is, is kind of a lot anyways. So once in a while to break it up a little bit is, isn't the end of the world. But for those of you who are really excited to see the next episode, I really absolutely appreciate that. I love that there are people that feel that way and I try very hard. Um, to always make the time and everything to, to do that. So thank you for everyone for being so patient once again. You all mean the world to me. You really do. Um, and I hope to see you again soon. Have a great day.